Today then I'm moving on to part two of the cab. Uh, you'll have seen in part one where I did all this bending and today I'm going to make a start to cutting all the uh, windows and doors out. So I'm going to start with the front and in this front piece I'm going to cut these out and I'm going to put some brass window frames in the front and then in the side um, I've just drawn this out rough, I'm going to cut a door in and another window. Uh, I was going to use a nibbler, which I ordered off eBay, and uh, it says it'll cut the, twice the thickness of this material. So, read the instructions, put it in my drill. Um, operate the tool when the motor's running so I started it up put my cut went in with my cut an A presto bang it didn't just break the cutting tip it's broke all the mechanism inside so beware what you buy with nibblers got my money coming back for that so I'm gonna have to use my, my jigsaw with a metal blade with a metal cutting blade in so we'll see how that performs. Okay, I'm back over on workbench now. So I've got my outer window frames done. And they're going to slot in on that one millimeter spigot, the same thickness as the cab material. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make two more rings for the back side. So this is the front one, the shaded part. This is the cab material. Then I'm going to make two rings here for the back. And in between that ring and the back of this ring, I'm going to cut some perspex to trap it. And then from the back, I'm going to put four bolts in, which you won't see on the front, I don't think. I, th I think I've got room to get some blind holes in. Uh, off camera I've just been cutting some perspex out it's one eighth thick out of a little bit of perspex I had left over from a job uh, put some tape on it use my jigsaw cut it out then just add it on my sander just to smooth it off on the edges well I've made two inner rings now very similar except one's, the outer one's got a spigot on and then the other one has got a recess in it to accept this perspex so I'll just peel this perspex off and we'll take a look at this if you don't put tape on it splinters this perspex I'm sure, I'm sure you I'm sure you all know that for anybody that don't especially if you're cutting it with 
split tip jigsaw electric jigsaw that is I'll just clean that up with a bit of brake cleaner to get that that tape off it Right, so these are the backing ones which I've got to put four holes in yet to clamp them together. So your perspex flush in that one, I've already got one for that side done. And then what's going to happen, that's going to just clamp behind that with four studs, screws. 6BA I'll probably, probably use got the frames drilled and I'm just going to offer them up to the uh, cab just to make sure they fit. I'm not going to put all the screws in because obviously I've got to take it off to paint it. I think I'll continue cutting the doors out in the next part, the door and the side windows. So if you've not seen my other videos I'll take a look at them and me building this loco from scratch and if not I'll catch you on my next video then thanks for watching then bye for now